Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Iso Sculpt Workout. This is day 15 of your Sculpt Challenge. In today's workout, we are gonna get full body strength, a little bit of cardio, and some isometric holds. It's gonna be a good time, I'm gonna give you lots of different options, and all you need is a set of dumbbells. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting a quick warm up. Go ahead and start moving your body with a little march and some shoulder rolls. We're gonna keep the warm up pretty short because we wanna keep this workout short. So of course, if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. We're gonna get some movement prep, some dynamic movement to get those muscles engaged and ready to move and we will also get the blood flowing to raise that body temperature, get that heart rate up, get ready to go. Think you're gonna like this workout? It is back to basics. So no compound moves, nothing crazy, but I think you'll like the little spin on it that we're putting with it today. Let's take it with a little hinge and then bring it up, big reach. Hinge up to a Y, hinge, Y, and then let's squat it down up to a T. Squat it down up to a T. One more. And then let's fold it over right here. Pedal those feet just a bit either from here or here. And if it feels okay for you, you're gonna walk it back into that high plank and then walk it up. If that's not right for you, you can just tap it back and tap it back and bring it up. A couple just like that. Try to get those knees wide to open up the hips. Walk it back into that plank to get the core fired up and ready to go. And then again, big opener of the hips. One more, we're gonna hold that plank. If that is right for you, just press up little down dog, back to center. You can also go from the knees to down dog if the plank is not right for you, really lengthen through the back. One more. And walk your feet in whatever way is good for you. Round it up to the top. Tap and reach across. All right, team. So here is what we've got. It is an iso sculpt workout. Isometric means that your muscle is not lengthening or shortening, right? Your muscle is contracting. If you think of a plank or a squat hold, any type of hold, that is your isometric move. What is different about today is that we are going to start with the isometric. We're gonna start with the iso hold, then move into a little bit of movement and a little bit of full range of motion. We're gonna have 30 seconds of each movement, three rounds of 30. So your isometric hold, a little bit of movement, then full range of motion in some way. I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. Go ahead and start with one heavy dumbbell or two heavy dumbbells, whatever is best for you. Again, these are gonna be back to basic moves. So your basic squats, your pushes, your pulls, your hinges. So nothing fancy. You can take it at your level B where you are today. We're gonna to start with a hold in that squat. So I want you to do everything in your power to sit low, drop those hips, keep the chest up. Then we'll add a little lift to the hip, then we'll go full range of motion. Go ahead and join me one weight or two, sit low, 30 seconds. Now, what I want you to think about, you don't have to be as low as me, but I do want you to open up those knees a bit and see if that helps you get a little bit lower, right? You just don't wanna be rounding in the back. So if your hold is here, that's okay, but I don't wanna see it here. Core engaged, chest open. Yes, it's gonna get warm right off the bat. You'll see why those, these ISO holds work. And then from here, we're gonna do a little butt up. Watch me first. Little here to here. Join me here. So if you'd rather, you can take that weight down below. Not full range of motion, but it's a little hinge, right? You're lengthening through the legs, bringing it up. Lengthening, or bringing it down rather, right? Whoo, burn! Yes, you can. So again, take that weight out of it. If you need to, you can almost think of this like a little stretch, a little mobility move, right? It's all mobility, team. We got three, two, one. 
from here all the way up all the way down all the way up all the way down let's step out into it squat bring it up side step into a squat so we get some lateral movement feels good to come all the way up right that's what you're gonna love about this workout you're gonna burn so much in the beginning that you're gonna really appreciate those regular squats those regular moves three two one <laughs> burn remember this is a short workout and remember each round is 30 seconds shake it out right here if you want little hamstring curls I'll give you a little cardio mobility we'll have 30 seconds in between you can take a real rest or you can keep moving we're gonna take it to our rows we've got heavy weights we're gonna hold first in between each round of 30 seconds we're gonna give our back a little rest and then we're gonna come in we're gonna go out and in and then we'll alternate go ahead and grab those weights hinge it here here we go up and hold so on this hold my weights are right at my rib cage pulling the shoulder blades in pulling the elbows towards each other not lifting in the shoulders here but pulling them down and back you're still hinge I don't want you to be up here or even here really try to hinge squeeze in the back pull those shoulder blades in use those strong muscles along the spine and then we're gonna come up little breather to stretch our back and let's go here here so you're rotating in rotating out again I really want you to concentrate on using the muscles along your back to get this done right not through the shoulders back muscles squeeze all the way through breathe yes and then bring it back to center all the way up all the way down you're gonna stay at the top we're gonna alternate one and then the other join me here if you want a little movement or just keep it here one and then the other squeeze in the back right 10 seconds to go again you feel why this works because we have to stabilize all the way through the back five four three two one bend those knees set them down reach across here's your mobility 30 seconds all right team I don't want you to sacrifice good form if that hold is too long if going through those three rounds of 30 seconds you need a quick break in between please get it don't sacrifice form over keeping with the entire circuit bring it down on your back we're coming in a crunch position if you're modifying I want you to join me in a bridge otherwise we're coming up right here join me here so start here extend those legs and arms out lift the shoulders if you can if you need to be here bent hollow rock if you can we're hollow rock hold right here wrap that core in so think about zipping up in the spine in the core hips coming together magnets on your hip bones tacking that rib cage down navel to spine here's the movement that we're going to add it's a rock here to here what I'm not doing is here right we're actually keeping the isometric here and we're rocking small little movement initiated with the core but if I were to touch your legs or your arms they wouldn't move right so keep it tight here you can also do that rock with a little bent knee if you're modifying with that bridge I just want you to go halfway down and up halfway down and up yes you can if you're in the bridge you're gonna add a little knee coming in as you come up everybody else let's take it slow bicycle here to here very controlled yes here to here take it in take it out again that core is burning but you're grateful for that movement right we're getting in that transverse plane as we rotate that torso that trunk five four three two and one bring it up team quick sip of water we're going back to a lower body if you've noticed our pattern here lower upper core hold a little bit of movement full range of motion all right team so we're going into a lunge here's the difference we're gonna get 20 seconds 20 seconds 20 seconds on right side left side grab those weights 
Go ahead and bring it down. We're starting with a low lunge. You're gonna hold for 20 seconds. So zip up that core, shoulders back, your regular lunge or your regular split squat, split squat, hold. Here we go, drop it down. So if you can, I want you to think of, if you were down on the ground, you're just barely hovering right through there, right? Core is engaged. Yes, you can. I know. And here's what we got. If you're able, you're gonna touch the knee down, come barely off the ground, knee down, barely off. If you need to, you can have that pulse from the top, but if you have the mobility, I want the pulse from the bottom. Touch, press up through the front heel. Yes, you can. Remember, it's only 20 seconds, and you got five, four, three, two, all the way up. You're gonna cross it over, curtsy. Back to center, tap it behind. Cross it, curtsy. So you're here, yes, down. Curtsy and then regular. You can just tap it. You don't have to get as low as me, you have options. But we got three, two, one. Set them down, yes! Right, aren't you glad it's only 20 seconds? We're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. So we got our regular hold. Remember you wanna be a little bit wider, not tightrope, train tracks. We've got knee hover off the ground and up or small pulse. Then we got curtsy. Bring it here, core engaged, 20 seconds. Hold right here. Try not to let the weight bring you forward. You can lean a little bit into that front leg, but you still get nice, open chest, core engaged. Remember, we're gonna take it low. If you need to, you can go low, pulse from the top, but if you're able, drop it down right here, barely up. Drop it down, barely up through that front heel. Yes, you can. And up, stay with me. Did I mention this is a no repeat workout? We're getting through everything in three rounds, but then we leave it alone for the day, right? Last one. Here we go. Cross it over. Tap it back, regular lunge. Curtsy. And up, regular lunge. Yes, you can. Curtsy, 10 seconds. Whoo! Breathe. Last one. Shake it out. Ha! Ah, you got 30 seconds to breathe. Whew. That was a good one, right? <laughs> so take it little skater, but keep it high. Skater, skater. You don't have to get super low in it. I know those legs are tired. Quick sip of water too if you need it. I know that got my heart rate. Ah, we're gonna take it to a chest press on the ground. I'm gonna give you some options to engage the core. If you want, whew, let's go here. Join me down here. Catch your breath. Sorry team, gave you a little longer than 30 seconds, but you can do it. All right, so we're here. We're gonna hold at that halfway point. We're gonna turn them in halfway down and halfway down. Then we got full range of motion in and out. All right, go ahead and join me here. If you want, you can be up in the bridge if you want, you can have the core engaged, but we're holding chest press off the ground right here. So, not so challenging, right? I want you to find the place where it's challenging. Up here is not gonna be as challenging. Elbows down, obviously not gonna be as challenging, but find that sweet spot. Really think about that core. What is your core doing? Tilt everything in, breathe into it, and then get ready. We're gonna do small, Movement, bringing those elbows towards each other and then down. Here we go. Elbows in and down. It's small. And down, right? And out. Don't forget about that core. Whether you're in tabletop or in that bridge, you're keeping it engaged, right? You can even do a little tap if you want a little extra. Yes. I want to bring those elbows in so we really activate those triceps, right? Feel them all the way through. You're never going all the way down. We're going full range of motion in three, two, one. Regular press. Turn them in at the bottom. Close grip press. Turn them in. And down. You can do a little bicycle with the legs. It's up to you. Whatever works for you. Up and up. Rotate those elbows so you get the triceps but also chest and shoulders. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Shake it out, yes team, woo! All right, let's take it over into a high plank position. Yeah, we're gonna go high plank so we keep those shoulders working. You can get a little child's pose as you're watching me. We're coming high plank. We're gonna do a little cross and hold. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Then of course, we're taking it to our cross climber. Up to you. If you need to take this standing or bird dog from the knees, you can. Otherwise, hold it here. I'm putting you in that high plank intentionally so we keep that upper body working. If your arms need a little break before we get into those knees, come down on those elbows. Again, that was intentional to keep triceps working, to keep chest and shoulders working, but I know. Remember, you can also take it to a bird dog hold and then take it across when you get to those crosses. In three, two, so it's cross and hold. Hold, three, two, one. Switch it, three, two. Knee to elbow, stay lifted in the center. Yes, you can. Cross. Make sure as you're getting tired that you're not sliding back with those hips up. Keep those shoulders above the elbows, above the wrist. Keep it going. Hold it for three, back to center. Hold it for three, back to center. Yes, you can. If you want, run it. Cross. Breathe. Does not have to be fast. You can also just do little taps. And again, you can also do bird dog. I know it's a lot. We're coming up in just a minute. Whew. Keep it going, man, I'm sweating. But it feels good. Core, think about that core. I know our arms are feeling it, our shoulders are feeling it, our wrists are feeling it, our heart rate is feeling it. But core for three, two, one. Stretch it back, right? Whoo, up onto your feet, whoo. Again, I thought, stretch it out right here. Breathe, tap. I thought I had the towel in here. I never know why I don't bring my sweat towel in. Anyway, all right. So, back to the top one more time. We're gonna take it to a side lunge. We're gonna hinge and hold for 15. Side lunge, join me right here. To the side, we're gonna hold 15 seconds. So what we're getting here is we're getting that hold here, we're also getting that hinge, right? So weights are here, little hinge. We got Oh, let's switch it right here. Hold it. I was thinking 20, but it's 15. So stay with me. As we hinge, and then we're gonna switch it side to side. Bring those weights in the center. Take it side to side, right? And breathe. We're really gonna mix this one up, so I want you to stay with me. Right here, keep that chest up. If you need to switch to one dumbbell, you can hand it off right here. Keep that chest lifted even though we're low, right? All right, stay with me. Turn those toes out. We're going down and we're hinging. So it's a plie squat, plie hinge. Yes, you can. Whew, that feels like a break, right? Take it down and here. 10 seconds, nice good squat, nice good hinge. Deadlift, sumo deadlift, plie squat. One more, yes, you can. And breathe, ha, ah, shake it out. Yes, team, little stretches right through here. Guess what, we are so close. We're going into a bicep curl. We're gonna do some holds in front, some holds out to the side, some here to here then some full range of motion. I'm gonna give you some options to add on. Grab a weight that works probably medium to heavy. I know it's gonna to get tough, so I'm going medium with my tens. Zip up that core, grab those weights, hold for 15. Right here. So at the halfway point, right? Think 90 degrees. What is your core doing? Pull everything in, make sure we're not arching. We're going here, we're in the center. Halfway, not here, and not here, but here. Take it out. Open up those shoulders. So you're also adding your back and your shoulders, right? Squeeze. Biceps are working hard. Ha! Yes, but also in the shoulders. 
We're gonna take them down, halfway up. Here we go, down, halfway up. In and down, halfway up. <sighs> Squeeze. Sometimes it helps me to put my thumb on top, but whatever gives you the best grip, right? <sighs> yes, you can. I know. <sighs> yes! <sighs> Breathe. We're gonna take it to a regular curl. Let's go regular curl. Let's add a press right here. Curl, press, take them out. Curl, press, take them in. Up, you can add a knee if you want. Up, yes you can. Up, Whoo. yes, so close. 10 seconds, a oh, little extra balance. One more each way. Finish strong. Boom. <laughs> Good work, team. Tap them out. Tap them out. Stretch through there. We are going to come down into a side plank position. Once again, we have 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. 20 second hold, 20 second hip pulse, 20 second twist. We're going to get it done. So join me down on the mat. We are so close. Team, you can be up on the knees. You can have one leg out or all the way up. Join me here for 20. This hand can be up. Remember if you're feeling too much in that shoulder, slide your elbow in or out, turn that palm up. Whatever is good for you, zip up in that core. Stay lifted through here and through that hip, right? Let's do a little hip drop halfway down and up. Right here, halfway down and up, halfway down. Breathe, yes, all the way, all the way through the set, but only halfway down. Yes, team, take that top hand, reach under, reach up, join me here. You can turn more of your body if you wanna turn those hips and shoulders towards the mat, or you can just take it here. It's up to you, 10 seconds, get it done, team. Stay with me, breathe. Last one, shake it out, <sighs> stretch it to that other side. What do we got team? <sighs> so close to being done, join me. We're gonna lift it 20, 20 and 20 for three, two, one. Here we go, lift it up and hold. You can have this hand down in front if you need it for balance, but we're gonna try not to lean into it, right? We're here. Stay right here. Drop to that knee if you need to. Zip up that core, pull everything in tight. Yes. And we're gonna do that little halfway. Here we go, 20 seconds, halfway down, bring it up. Using your core to lift, not pushing through the elbows and the shoulders. Lift from here, lift from here. Yes, breathe, Whoo. then get ready. We're gonna reach under and up. Here we go, 20 seconds, boom, breathe. Yes, if you want, you can turn your body into it. Reach it up, turn your body in, reach it up, turn it in and up. Last one, yes, team! Stretch it out, up onto your feet. I want one medium dumbbell, one set of 30 seconds. You're gonna squat it, bring the knee up, squat it, bring the knee up, join me in three, two. Consider this a bonus, here we go. I know, I wasn't planning on having a bonus, but I felt like we needed a little extra. Breathe, take it up. Take it down and up, knee, down and up, knee. Yes, three, two, and one. Yes, catch your breath. Oh, team, ha, ah, set that down. Shake it out, water if you need it. Ha, ah, you did it. How do you feel? Back to basics, right? But back to basics, in an intense way, but no repeat. But it felt like it repeated, right? 
Oh, one long circuit of your very typical movement patterns, but you crushed it. You worked so hard. Let's take those knees out. Whew. Make sure that you leave me a comment. Let me know, did you like this workout? Do you wanna see more like this? How are you feeling? Are you glad that it was only 25 minutes? I bet you are. I know I am. Whew. Leave me a comment, like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember that when you subscribe, that helps me keep making these workouts here for you. So make sure you subscribe. And of course, whew, check out all the links in the description below. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club if you are looking for that support, that accountability, that nutrition help. Take it to the next level. Finally, heal your relationship with food. Change your mindset about exercise. That's everything we do there. Join and so much more. Join us there. And of course, check out my website if you're looking for any of this equipment. Whew. Or if you are looking for Body Fit by Amy apparel, merchandise, or if you have questions, let us know. Follow me at Body Flip by Amy. Make sure you're on my email list. Thank you so, so much for being here today. Please get some more stretching on your own. We keep the warm-ups and cool-downs pretty short so we can get you in and get you out, but make sure you get a little more on your own. Don't forget to hydrate. Thank you for being here. You guys crushed it. Isometric. One big deep breath in and out you did it that was your dumbbell iso sculpt workout great job everybody